So one of the core components of resilience is the feeling that a team leader creates on the team of psychological safety. What does that mean? What can a team leader do to create psychological safety? Three things worth thinking about. There's maybe more, but there are three things worth thinking about. The first is awareness. Does my team leader know me? It's gonna sound pretty obvious to you, but, but boy, so much in life goes unsaid. What do you know about each team member? What have you picked up on each team member? Not necessarily what are you gonna criticize, but what do you see about them that's the best of them? And I don't mean that you're patting them on the head saying jolly well done for being you. I mean, just can you describe to them what you see in them? What do you turn to them for? What do you rely on them for? Have you shared that? That's the beginning of psychological safety because then the person on the receiving end of that goes, wow, he sees me. He sees me. Safety begins with being seen. Second, um, do you do what you say you're going to do? It's just like, it's just the basics, isn't it, of building trust. Say a few things, do them. Say a few things, do them. Do what you say you're going to do. In this day and age, it's one of the, it should be, everybody should be doing this, but it's one of the defining characteristics of a really good team leader, that you say a few things you're going to make commitments to, and then you follow through on all of them. And then lastly, confidence keeping. Do you keep people's confidences? Part of psychological safety is me, the team member, sharing with you a new idea, a new thought, an experiment about my career, a feeling that I have about somebody else on the team. I want to sh- I got to share it with, and when I share it with you, the team leader, do you keep my confidences? One of the most important things that team leaders understand is if somebody comes to them and says, I have a problem with this other team member. This other team member said such and such. When we've experimented with that particular question, that actual question, a team member comes to you and says that another team member is being negative, what would you do? You know what the best team leaders say? They don't go run to the team member who's being negative. They talk to you. They seem to understand that when some team leader is bringing, some team member rather, is bringing an issue to you about some other team member, the real issue isn't with the other team member, it's with the one who's coming to you. They have the problem, they have the challenge. So when somebody comes to you, whether it's a new idea, whether it's a problem they have, keep their confidences. If you can do that, keep their confidences. If you can follow through on doing what you say you're gonna do. And then, For you, if you can show awareness that you've seen them, boy, you put those three things together, and you'll go a long way to ensuring that that person feels psychological safety in working on their team, and they don't spend all of their time watching their back.